It's a job not for the faint of heart. BC wildfire crews spend 16 hours a day fighting fires and braving the elements, only to come back to their tent for an eight-hour sleep to do it all over again. At the camp, there are approximately 330 people. 315 spend nights in the tents. Crews are offered breakfast, lunch, and dinner, as well as laundry service on site. We try to make it as comfortable as possible. We give them sleeping mats, uh, little creature comforts that we can provide. Crews tend to be rolling out 5.30 in the morning and then they're not getting back in until 8.30, 9 o'clock at night. It's a very full day for them out there. Carol says those actioning the White Rock Lake fire have come from across the province. We've got crews from Terrace, we have crews from Pemberton, you know, so that's going to be across the province. The same with the SPS side of things. They're coming from everywhere within the province. Incident Commander Mark Healy addressed criticism on social media that not enough is being done to contain the fire. So when I hear that not enough is being done, that, that hits me in the heart, right? And it not only hits me, it hits every firefighter out on the ground. That's the hardest thing to hear. When we work extremely long hours over an extremely long summer and the crews on the ground they they're young millennials who live on social media and they they are not taking this well the message that gets out there and I worry about them for that reason. In recent weeks, residents who have stayed behind in evacuation zones have said fire resources are not visible. Deputy Minister of Forests Rick Manwaring said crews are present but don't stay in one place for a long time. Fires are managed in stages often and incident commanders like Mark will uh, take steps, put people on the line to build guards, pull them off to do aerial attack. Uh, so people will see resources come and go on fires, um, but in particular with structural protection, once that's in place, that gives uh, fire managers a whole different suite of tools to work with on these fires. For Castanet News, I'm Madison Earhart in Vernon.